Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well I had a request from one of my subscribers, Hoagie Carmichael, and he wanted to know if I'd make a video showing him how I make my frictionless bearing block. And the first thing you have to do is go to Ace Hardware and buy this bearing. It's inch and an eighth uh, outside diameter, three eighths inside diameter. It's just uh, under five dollars. Then you're going to need an inch and seven eight spade bit. And when you bore that hole, there'll be just a little bit of slop in the hole. So I put one round of electrical tape on the bearing and fit it on in there. But uh, let me show you how easy it is to make one of those. Any old scrap piece of 2x4. And if you have a choice of which grain you'd prefer to use, Pick the straightest grain that you think will split out the best. And I think this corner, I think this corner right here be the best. So we're going to figure about four inches for my hand and cut it off right there. somewhere near the halfway mark. That looks about like half. And this one's a little bit bigger. I think I'll go with this one. Now, I'll drill, once again, we'll just estimate where halfway is at. Okay, so I'll drill my hole a little bit to the right of that line, and that looks about center. We're only having to drill it about three-eighths of an inch deep. Check it for fit, and it goes all the way down in there. And like I said, I like to put a round of a round of electrical tape on it because there is just a little bit of just the least little bit of slop in that hole. I got a little bit of a high side right here. I'm gonna knock it down. I didn't know my drill was low on power. But we had have enough power to do it. Now, I like that. We'll put a round of tape on there and cut off the slack. Alright, now I'm going to clean that up a little bit.
take these corners off. I'm going to take all the edges off all the way around. All the corners. You'd never know, it was just a scrap, scrap piece of 2x4 you had laying around. That's the one little imperfection from where we split it out. Nothing to do now but to give it a try. Alright, let's try Mimosa Spindle on Mimosa Fireboard. So, as you see, this bearing block is very easy to make, and especially when you're first starting out, it's alright to make a cheat like this before you move on to just a regular wooden bearing block. Alright y'all, thanks for joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.